Hi, George here. And today we'll be looking at different ways of colorizing black and white images. We'll be trying this out inside of Photoshop Elements and then comparing that to two different online AI tools to do the same process. My sample pictures here, love one has good contrast. It's good and sharp. Nice image, easy to see the subjects in here from the background. The right side, it's an older image, has a lot of defects in it, has a lot of grain in here, very low contrast. So we'll see how this does. I have links for these two images along with downloads for these samples that I'll be showing you here in this video in the HTG Photo Coach program. And if you get that program, that will also make you a lifetime member of my channel. So you get downloads for all of my videos. And you can find out more about that at the end of the video. Let's start off with the easier one first. And we'll be doing this here inside of Photoshop Elements. I'll take the left side picture, go to Enhance, and the colorized photo is right here. This used to be over in the Guided Edit section. It's now over here in the Enhance section. Click on that. This brings up the colorizer. It's going to go through and automatically colorize your image for you. Now, Photoshop Elements gives you four choices. The first one is normally a pretty natural look. The second one is higher color saturation. Then we have a more of a blue tone in here and more of a green tone. And these aren't bad. And this looks pretty natural. But as you begin looking at it more carefully, you can see there are some problems in here. Notice that the arm loses its flesh tone right over here, right hand side. Left hand side, her hand doesn't have any flesh tone on there. So those are two big areas that are problems. Up here, her hair is fairly green. So it's kind of the same color as the background. So that's not too good. And a little hard to see, but over here, the right hand side of this skirt is still black and white, whereas the left hand side has some color to it. So not bad, but not great. Okay, let's cancel out of that one. Let's take a look at this image on the right hand side now and do the same thing. Go up to Enhance, come down to Colorize Photo, and we'll see how Elements does on this. Now, there's our first option. Almost no color changes at all except for the face in here. Here's our more vibrant option. A bit of color in the background now, but it's kind of splotchy. There's this blue thing happening in here. There's some green over in here, some more blue right down here. There's some blue up here, some green tint over here. So it's fairly splotchy on its colorization. The blue is no better. There it is. We only have just the face colored. Then everything else is just blue. And kind of the same thing for the cyan or green tone. Pretty much everything is one color and the face is just that flesh tone. So Elements didn't do a very good job at all on this image. So between those two, not too good on these two images. Let me just bring up the finishes on both of those. We'll take a look at those together. These are the best two that I could get using just the standard tool there inside of Photoshop Elements. And again, it has some serious problems. It's not bad if you're not that critical, but again, the hand's not colored. The arm over here is not colored. The side of the skirt's not colored. And this is just kind of blotchy colors. Okay, let's now see what we can do using AI. We have two sites to look at, and I've tested a lot of AI colorized sites, and these are the two that gave me the best results overall. So let's look at the first one, image to go Let's bring that up right now. And it's right here. Now, both of these sites have a cost to them. You can get a sample for free. It's a lower resolution sample. Image to go gives you a few free credits to try out at the beginning, but the price is not that bad, actually. Let's go over here to price. If you're doing this a lot, you can get 60 credits here for 650. The colorization is one credit, so you can do a lot of images here for just 650 a month. Let's now see how that works. Over here where it says all tools, and we'll come down to colorize image. Let's bring this up. Simply choose a file, and we'll start off with the easier of the two. It's our black and white right here. It's going to upload the image. There it is, and the cost for this is one credit, as you can see right there. I have a balance of eight left after doing that. Click on start, and we'll see how well this does. So I'll just pause the video at this point, and I'll pick it up as soon as it has finished its processing, which should only be about a minute. And there it is, that's not too bad. Click on preview, and see what we got. And that's actually a pretty good image in here. We still have some problems. Notice that the very tips of the fingers over here are still not colorized, so that's not perfect yet, but it's a lot better than we had over there in Elements. The colors in the clothing and the hair looks a lot better. I have actual hair color up here at the top of her head. Right over here on the right side girl's wrist, it's beginning to lose the color right back in there, but it's not bad. The right side of the skirt is still in black and white, so it didn't catch that one, but it's a much, much better job than we saw over there with Photoshop Elements. So we're fairly successful on this one. And again, this is very inexpensive. It's one credit for this. You can also upscale here. A lot of other things you can do, resize and so forth. Let's just back this up and go back up to all tools. Let's take a look at our other file. And that's our low contrast file right here. See how this does on the low contrast file. 
Gonna upload that. There we go, one credit. Click on start and we'll see how this does. And again, I'll pause the video and then bring it back up again as soon as it finishes the processing. The last one only took just about one minute for the processing, so it's pretty fast. And there we go, let's preview this. And here's our preview. Better than what we had over there in Elements, but not a lot better. We have some flesh tone bleeding down in here to the top of the jacket and the shirt. The jacket down here in the background is not bad. I think that has some nice separation in it. So better than we got with Elements. Not perfect yet, though. I'd like to see better control in here. But that's really because of the low contrast in here. It's hard for this program to figure out exactly where the different parts of the picture show up. But not a bad job. I think that's acceptable. Notice that the colorizers here don't do anything with these breaks in here, with the scratches and so forth. That would take additional work with different techniques to clean this picture up. Okay, so that's a look then at image to go which I think is a very good program. Much better than we're seeing over there in Elements. Let's now take a look at my favorite program for colorizing images, and that's over here called Colorize with a K. And this one does some phenomenal work. The pricing on this one up here is, again, not bad. You can get three samples per hour. They're low resolution, about a three by four size picture at 72 pixels per inch, about that size. But it lets you see how well it does the job. Right hand side over here, credits are not that bad. 10 credits for $9, so 90 cents each picture. 50 credits, 66 for each picture. So it's a very reasonable price if you do this a lot. If you only do just a few, it's still not a bad price. Okay, let's go back here to Colorize. Click on Upload an Image. And we'll start off with our low contrast image first. Open this one up. And we'll see if this does a better job for us and much better. Notice we have a separate color for the shirt and the jacket. The jacket has its own color in here. It's separate, it's different from the color of the face. We also got a different colorization up here, which is interesting, and different colorizations down there. So it's given us multiple colors in here on the background, which is much more realistic. Now, the lines in here, because this is a free preview, you wouldn't have that kind of a fence thing happening on a finished image. Let's try our other option. Let's go back here to Colorize, Upload Image, and we'll try the higher contrast photograph right here. See how well it does on this one. This should be better. I like this little countdown in here, the percentage countdown. And there we go. Again, we have these lines to just ignore. But let's check out our problem areas. Okay, her hand, left-hand side, that looks perfect. No problems in there at all. The hair is good up in here. Right-hand side, her flesh tone goes clear up to the top of that branch. So it kept that okay. Only problem I see here at all is right here on the skirt. And that skirt is kind of a green tone this time. So it messed up on the skirt. It thinks that's part of the background bush and not part of her skirt. But very, very minor. Everything else in here looks absolutely perfect. And that's why this is my personal favorite way to colorize images if I'm using a program to do it for me. If I was even doing this manually, this is better than my manual work would do. There's a lot more subtleties in here. I could match this colorization if I wanted to put the time in, but I'd spend all day doing it. And this, as you saw, just took just a few seconds. It's actually very, very quick. Okay, let's now compare these side to side. Let me bring up the first set of images. Let's get this out of the way. And here we go. Upper left-hand corner is the Photoshop Elements. Has nice contrast to it, but there's not as much color variation in here. And we have the black and white problems in here and over here and on her hand and, of course, on her skirt. Right-hand side is the image to go. Just some problems in here with the nails. Nice contrast. It's maybe a bit too saturated. You can see the face is going a bit red in here. And it's gone kind of blue back there. It's a bit too much saturation. A little problem up here with the black and white and over here, right-hand side of the skirt with the black and white. The bottom is the colorize.cc option down there, as you can see on their logo. This hand is perfect. That hand is good. The skirt over here, this is another pass I did on that. The skirt this time is just fine. It could use a bit more color contrast, so that's easy enough to do. Just go in there, open this up in Photoshop Elements, add a little bit more saturation to it, do a few tweaks like that, and I think this gives you your best final results. They all look good, but the colorize, I think, is the best out of these options. Let's now take a look at the other image. And once again, left-hand side is the Photoshop Elements. And it did a fair job on colorizing the face and everything else, just kind of blotchy colors in here. Right-hand side is the image to go. Has a nice, pleasant look to it. And the center image is the colorize.cc. And once again, I think it's a much better job than the other two. And one thing about all of these tools is that you get a little different result each time you try it. So if you're not happy with the result, just do it again. And it may adjust that to be just a little bit better. Also with the colorize.cc, you can go in they have a colorized tool where you can mark some areas to be certain colors and will then regenerate with that additional hints in there, which sometimes will make for a better image. 
there is a way to repaint the image inside of Photoshop Elements in that Colorize tool, but I've never had good success with that one, so I just ignore that part of that particular tool. If you want to take a look at all of these sample pictures and download the original black and whites for testing, I have that inside my HTG Photo Coach program. And if you get that program, you're also a lifetime member for the channel where you can get these materials, downloads, and so forth, step-by-step -step instructions for all the videos I'm doing here for Photoshop Elements. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already done so. Hit that bell icon for notifications so you don't miss any videos in the future. And I'll see you next time.